Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Miss Paula, and I'm coming to you from the Royalton Library in the state of Vermont. We've got an awfully nice story time story today. The name of the book is Waiting. Do you ever have to wait for somebody to do something? By Kevin Hinkus. Waiting. You know, when you wait, sometimes it's kind of hard. If your mother says, no, you have to wait a minute before you can see that show or before you can, we're going to leave, and then you're tired of waiting. So this is a story about it, waiting. There were five of them, and they were waiting. One, two, three, four, five. Five. They're waiting on a windowsill outside. The owl with spots was waiting for the moon. The pig with the umbrella was waiting for the rain. The bear with the kite was waiting for the wind. The puppy on the sled was waiting for snow. The rabbit with stars wasn't waiting for anything in particular. He just liked to look out the window and wait. When the moon came up, the owl was happy. It happened a lot. When the rain came down, the pig was happy. The umbrella kept her dry. When the wind blew, the bear was happy. The kite flew high and far. And when it finally snowed, the puppy was happy. He had waited a very long time. The rabbit was happy, just looking out the window. Sometimes one or the other of them went away. One, two, three, four. Who's missing? She's missing. But when he or she always came back, everyone was happy again. Sometimes they slept. Well, there they are. They're still on the window. But mostly they waited. Sometimes gifts appeared on the windowsill. There's a shell, an acorn. And I don't know if that's a ball or a round rock. Once a visitor from far away came. He stayed a while, then he left and never returned. What happened to him? He's too close to the edge and he's made of glass. And what happens if a glass falls down on a hard floor? It breaks. They saw many wonderful, interesting things. Look at the clouds and the shapes. And they see beautiful uh, uh, spring flowers on the tree. There is some nice things to see out that window. Some of the clouds look like shapes, don't they? Like a kite, a rabbit, umbrella. Well, there's the happy things. There's the scared things and look at their faces, but they're back again when they see, when there's a, uh, a rainbow. What are they seeing here? Winter time. And what are they seeing here? Do you know what these are? Fireworks. Have you ever gone to see them? Fireworks in the sky. And, of course, there was always the moon, and the rain, and the wind, and the snow to keep them happy. One day, a cat with patches joined them. He's got patches of color on him. Here he is. Well, they're certainly interested, aren't they? 
and there he is. He's on the windowsill with me. Was she waiting for the moon? No. Was she waiting for the rain? No. Was she waiting for the wind? No. Was she waiting for the snow? No. She didn't seem to be waiting for anything in particular. She's just staring out. Oh, but she was waiting for something. When you open up this, this toy, there's another toy inside, another toy inside, another and another till you get down to a little one. They're called nesting toys. Nesting toys. Now, there were ten of them on the window. And they were happy together, waiting to see what would happen next. Well, that would be a nice thing. Look at all the butterflies and the flowers if they got to see that. They were still waiting, and they were happy. I've got something to show you because I have a nesting toy. Three little girls brought it to me, and it came from Belarus, where their grandmother lives, which is way across the ocean. All right, here's the little girl. Now, I take her, put her down. Here's the next one. Let me take her, whoops, and put her down. I forgot there were that, that many. <laughs> I guess I wasn't thinking about how many of them there were in here. <laughs> there's another one. Whoops, there's two. Jen. Come put these together while I put the rest of them and show the boys and girls. Jen's gonna get them all organized so that we can show them to you. All right, here's another one. She's getting smaller and smaller. And get that to Jen. There she is, she's pretty small. And look at the last one. It's a little baby. All right. So, Jim, let's line them up. Okay. You can put them on the blocks right there if you want. Oh, to. Uh, up here? You could if you well, want. Well, put to. the, yeah. Tyler says to put them up on here where you can see them. Nesting toys. They're such fun to have, but when you put them together, you've got to put them in the right, in the right way. Here's one. <laughs> I broke the whole thing. All right, now look, look what's going up next. The baby. Let's count them and see how many were inside this, this doll. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them. Just like there were five waiting on the windowsill. Well, sometimes it's fun to wait. Sometimes it's not fun to wait. Do you, have you ever been waiting in the car for something and you say, when are we going to get there? When are we going to get there? That happens. But they had a good time waiting together, didn't they? It's time now to say goodbye. It's time, it's time, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, boys and girls. Come back next week.